Okay, we have the Riddler here. Uh, Mobius Models, next release out of the whole 1960s Batman series. I know I've skipped over Robin, I will get to him. Uh, I just decided to work on this one next because I just picked it up yesterday and I love the Riddler. Frank Gorshin was awesome as the Riddler. He'd jump around, he had so much energy during the show. And someone's probably going to correct me on this, but I am pretty sure that Riddler is the only villain from the show that said he was going to kill Batman. All the other uh, villains, you know, they would try to kill him, but they would say, you know, I'm going to end you. I'm going to snuff you out. Some things that are more, uh, you know, G rated for the kids. But Riddler's the only one that said, I will kill him. So I always remember that watching the show in a much younger era. Anyway, so Riddler, my favorite villain. That's why this is so disappointing so far, uh, looking on the back here. First thing that I have to point out, I like to keep this channel PG, so I'm not gonna say what the problem is with this face facial expression, but if you're adult enough, you should know why this is a problem. He's kind of, uh, yeah, I won't say anymore, but that's that's not looking good there. Uh, but we'll we'll ignore that for the moment. I just don't know why they would sculpt his mouth. Like, oh my god, no, I'm not, I'm not going to say anymore. The other problems I have here is uh, when I think of the Riddler, I think of him in the leotards and uh, or the tights. But they sculpted him with the suit on, and I would have to go back and watch all the episodes. I'm pretty sure he wore. The leotards more in the tights uh, more than the suit so but they put him in the suit instead which I really don't like is the, the, the leotard the tights gotta keep saying both uh, are more fitting for uh, the Riddler I think because as I said he would jump around all over the place like an acrobat uh, second thing and again if, if anyone wants to correct me on any of this great because I haven't gone back and watched all the episodes but if you know for sure I'm wrong on something I'm saying, please correct me because I, I'm going to have to research a lot of this. The other thing uh, is the cane. I couldn't find any photos of uh, Frank Gorshin with the cane. Uh, the only person I could find photos on the, online was uh, with John Astin with the cane when he did the Riddler for like two episodes. So I don't think the cane should be there. Uh, also, they give you the option of the mask or without the mask face. Unfortunately, it's the same horrible expression on either one. But also, I couldn't find any evidence of him wearing the mask with the suit. So, there's a lot of problems here. Um, luckily, the only good thing we have going on here so far is that all the uh, question marks, they're decals. Which is going to be a hell of a lot of work, but it's a lot better than trying to paint it all by hand. So let's get into this. Honestly, see the face looks great here. He's all laughing and giggling. Oh God, man. Anyway, I took everything out of the bag already. Um, sculpting looks decent, same quality as the other, the other uh, kits in the Batman series. Uh, you get a very tiny square base with him. You have option of the hands as well. And if he doesn't have the cane, that's the problem I'm having here. If he doesn't have the cane, I'm gonna have to have both hands empty. And then if he's not supposed to have the mask, he won't have a mask on. It's barely gonna look like the Riddler. Oh, man, there's the face. And, um, ooh. oh God, there's something in his mouth. What was that? He had, oh, he had a hair in his mouth. Oh God. Oh, all right, moving on, moving on, moving on. Uh, so this is the head without the mask, uh, but it's you have to use the, uh, the hat because he's got a big hole in his head. And then you have the exact same head with the mask, but uh, this one you have the option of not using the hat. Oh boy. And the two masks, I don't know which is which at the moment, but there you go. Um, everything else is pretty fine. A little bit of a texture to the suit. I wonder if the pants have that as well. No, they don't. So only the arms have a little bit of texture to them for some reason. Hmm. That's odd. 
And hands, this is the other, the open hands. These are solid piece. Hands look pretty nice. There's the tie. And you got the shoes. Those are all the decals with all the question marks. You can kind of see them through it. I'm not gonna bother opening them up because it's a decal full of a bunch of question marks. Uh, the other thing they did, it does have this little gold and um, ruby lapel pin, or not lapel pin, but a uh, tie clip type pin. And that's a decal as well. It's not sculpted on, which I wish they did. So that's something else I'm gonna have to fix. And we got our standard Mobius instructions here, but they added some nice Riddler questions, or Riddle, Riddler, Riddler, Riddler Riddles, bleh. What does a turkey do when he flies upside down? He gobbles up. So, that's always my favorite one here. When is the time of a clock like the whistle of a train? When it's two to two. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I've seen a lot of Batman. So, anyway, there's your instructions. Um, that's where he fits on the whole Batman plaque once we get everything all together. Still waiting on Batgirl and the Joker. Wow, good luck Joker for the last one probably. That's disappointing. And there's your different position. So uh, you can have him holding the hat. That might be an option. Maybe I could do that. See, without the cane and, and nothing else, he looks, he looks like a guy. He just looks like a guy just standing there. They could have put him in the tights and it would have looked so much better. Good lord. I'm disappointed. And there you go, with the face and all that. Oh, uh, man. Alright, well, I wanted to make this review a little bit longer than normal because I had to go over all the issues here, but I'm gonna, we're gonna build the rest of this in this part and hopefully the build won't have any issues and I can just skip right to the painting. Let's find out. I was hoping to just move on to the, okay, now it's built and begin the painting stage, but unfortunately, this is not a good kit. It's not horrible, but there are various little gaps and things that I wanted to point out to you before I started filling them, but I did fill a few of them on the head here uh, because I had the putty ready, and my light is terrible, pardon me. There we go. Um, there's a gap going right down the center of the head, and there's a few gaps on the side as well, uh, which I just started filling those there. Um, of course, there's the seam lines running down everything because it's two parts. Uh, some of them are not bad. Uh, interesting things to note was something's definitely wrong with one of the uh, molds that they use because like this half here, you see how textured this is, but it's smooth on this side. So uh, that is a bit odd. It's only the arms though that have it on the um, outsides, in the front of the pants or the what side is it? That's the back of the pants. It's not as rough. Once it's not horribly bad. Once we get paint on it, it should be taken care of. Interesting thing here, if you can see that little divot. Uh, if you saw in the video earlier, I don't know if you saw it or not. There was a little discoloration there. I thought it was just a discoloration of the plastic. I've never seen this before. Uh, one layer of the plastic was actually separated and kind of peeled up like a bit of dead skin or something like that. Uh, so I had to cut it off and I'm gonna have to fill that gap there. Uh, assembly wise, you can see the arm. Left arm is pretty good, but the right arm here is uh, not. It's uh, a little too high and there's also a rather significant gap there. So that needs to be filled. Um, I think that's the main issues that I have. Oh no, there was the fist too. The fist, look at the gaps on the fingers there. If I can get this close enough. You can see the gaps on the fingers. That's terrible. And that's going to take a lot of um, a lot of work to fill. I'm actually going to use some epoxy putty to fill that because trying to use regular uh, tube putty and sand that all down is going to be too much of a too much of a pain. So yeah, there's a lot of little things that need fixing on this kit, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on it with all the squadron putty. We're gonna be using a whole bunch and uh, we'll see what happens. So I'm mostly finished with the puttying and there was a whole lot of it. Uh, about to get to the uh, primer, sand, primer, sand, little extra putty stage back and forth, fill up all the gaps. And yeah, we do have a lot of gaps. Um, 
not happy. Not happy at all. Uh, this kit does have a lot of problems. It's not throw it in the bin bad, but it's kind of close to it. I mean, I would probably stop working on this if it wasn't part of a series that I want to complete. So uh, I think I mentioned some of the gaps already. You can see where all the... Uh, I had to use epoxy putty because I had to sculpt back some detail in a few areas. The tie didn't fit correctly, so I had to sculpt more of the tie in there. I already mentioned the arm didn't fit correctly. Um, rather than sand down the top, uh, I actually cut the the hole where this peg is supposed to go and I moved the arm down slightly uh, because it was off center. And that wasn't me putting it together, that's the mold is off center when they made this. So I had to fill epoxy in there and still try to indent it a bit so you have that seam line going around. Wanted to leave the mask off. Unfortunately, that was another very poor fit. So uh, this is still wet here. I got to clean this up a little bit. Uh, so that is there and even, I don't know how well that can see, but you see it doesn't really form the face that well either. Uh, there's some gaps uh, if you look down that way which I think we'll leave, should be okay. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna stop right now. Oh, there's also, if you have them holding the hats, uh, there's a little injection mark in there that you have to fill. Speaking of the hat, uh, I mentioned you could have them wearing it or have them holding it, but the way they tell you to put it in the fingers doesn't really fit that well. Uh, so actually I mounted on top of the hand. I probably should have gone through the effort, extra effort to actually uh, cut and uh, reform the fingers. That would have made a bit more sense, but uh, this kind of works him holding it this way. And I kind of like that he's sort of, you know, balancing it kind of more of a, a juggler type thing. What I'm going to use for the build, what optional pieces I'm still up in the air about, I think I'm going to go with this and ditch the cane. Um, I would like to ditch the mask too, but that's not possible unless I cut it all out and re-sculpt the hair, which would be a lot of work. Uh, but the, uh, I don't think he used the cane. I haven't watched, gone and watched all the episodes yet, but I don't think he uses the cane uh, when he's in the suit. And also considering the O face, the, uh, the Kung Fu grip, uh, right hand is uh, I'm not comfortable with that so yeah we're gonna go with this and just move on from here uh, so yeah if um, again all the questions I brought up at the beginning if you know so I don't have to go and track down every single episode uh, but yeah pretty sure he doesn't wear the mask when he's wearing the suit pretty sure he's not supposed to have the cane and uh, that's that's about it so uh, next part we're gonna start painting a whole lot of green.